Well, g'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and I'm super glad you could be here to join me today. It's always nice to have some company. Today we're going to be having a look at a little game called Crystal Caves, released in 1991 by Apogee Software. And we are playing the first, first episode. Volume 1, Trouble with Twibbles. Now, I know very little about this one, so let's have a look at the story. My name is Milo Steamwitz. Oh, well, they should have called me, like, Billy Crystal or something. Race Human SSN. I don't know what that means. Space Trader. Milo scours the universe in search of anything he can sell that will make him a buck and keep him from joining his uncle's yorp herding business. Oh no, not the yorp herding. Don't even get me started. Do whatever you can to avoid that crap. Rocketing from planet to planet in his ship, the Millennium Kiwi, Milo manages to stay one step ahead of his creditors. He recently lost a fortune by trying to sell Regulan bloodstones to the vampire dwellers of Gulburn 4. Okay. So... This guy is basically going to planets, collecting crystals, taking them home, trying to sell them, all to avoid that horrible yawp hurting. That's that's the game. I've decided to fly into the Altairian star system against my better judgment. The perilous caves of Altair are my best hope of getting enough cash for a down payment on a twibble farm. Alright, so this guy, Milo, wants a Twibble farm. What the hell is a Twibble? A Twibble? I, I hope it shows me sometime. With those furry Twibbles now the rage of the galaxy, I need to get in before the fad fades. Twibbles might be the biggest and f biggest fad since Pet Mood Slime. I just hope I can make it to Altair. The Kiwi is ill. No. The Kiwi is... Ah, 11 light years past its... don't know why I struggled with that. Its last oil change and the holographic steering assembly seems to be acting up. I better steer clear of anything big. Alright, let's get some... Get some of them sweet crystals and finance me a Twibble Farm. Uh-oh, the steering system is failing. Oh, that's not good. Did I just bounce off Earth? What? What's happening? Phew, made it. Now I need to collect enough crystals to trade at the trading post. Can I play the game now? Thank you. So, okay, I can jump. And I can shoot. And I think that's it. And this is the hub world of sorts. Each one of these grey doors leads to a uh, different, a different level. So let's find a place to. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That wasn't. There's no way that was actually put in as a. Ooh, my voice broke. No way that was put in as some kind of requirement by US government during that whole war on drugs deal that would just be the developers having a bit of a laugh and a piss take I like that so the goal of each level simply enough is to collect all the crystals and then the door opens and you can go pretty basic stuff Watch out for the snakes. Whoop. Yeah, probably you shouldn't shoot that. Uh, one thing that pisses me the hell off about this game is if you shoot a snake. See that? It's like dead. Right? It's dead, isn't it? But if you touch it like that, you still take damage. Like, calm the fuck on. That is just annoying. And unnecessary. Okay. It's a cool game though. Don't touch the dead snake. 
So there's not even much point in using your bullets to incapacitate these things. Because they're easy enough just to dodge. What was that? I just pick up like a, a goat horn or something? Ooh, and these... Wait, I just get insta-killed? Ah, oh, screw you. That is some goddamn bullcrap. <sighs> As I've seen, whatever you do, don't touch those green mushrooms because they will kill you instantly. That's what I was trying to do when the thing right next to the green mushroom popped up and killed me instantly. Yeah, thanks a lot, game. Alright. This game reminds me of the Duke Nukem for some reason. Sound effects are quite similar. Maybe they were done... Done by the same company, or... I don't know, Apogee did this one. Did Apogee do Duke Nukem? I don't know. Apogee was a great company for DOS games though. Apogee and Epic Mega Games. Probably the uh Apogee was probably the behemoth of DOS gaming titles. I think. I might be wrong. But I know that a lot of games I played were Apogee titles. Okay. Up here. Yep. Okay. Alright, got all the stuff. Get all the crystals. The last crystal was collected. You may leave this level. Press escape. Okay. Now we just gotta survive. Uh, shit. If I touch that snake, I'm dead. Where's the exit? That's the exit. Beautiful. Stage one complete. Uh, where should we go next? We'll have a look at two levels. I got a good feeling about this one. Okay. Use the fire key to activate a switch. Sure. Alright. Uh, I can't jump high enough to... Okay, yes I can. What's the deal with this level? Mm. Is there a certain death down there? Or can... Your pistol can kill any enemy for a limited time. What? Oh, so I got a gun upgrade instead. I guess before they upgrade, my pistol could only stun things, now it can kill. That still doesn't explain why the stun enemies were able to kill me. That's still bullcrap, don't misconstrue this. Uh, how do I get out of here? Uh, what? Get me the hell out of here! What? The, what is this? I can't like get down past this ice cube thing. What? The f oh, I hate you so much. What are you doing? God, Milo, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was Crystal Caves. Uh, I'm going to have to end it here because I'm completely fucked. I think you got a good idea of what this game is about. And um, this is ridiculous. How did this happen? I don't know, but we've seen enough of Crystal Caves, haven't we? It's the same thing every level, more or less. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or a like or subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Everybody? Didn't say everybody clearly and loudly enough just then. I will see you next time, everybody. Oh yeah.